in here uh, again we are getting a word that the supreme court has made a ruling here and again this is brand new um, but we're learning that the supreme court has ruled on affirmative action again just to get you caught up uh, this is about school colleges or universities using race during the admissions process there was again this was brought forth by a uh, again an asian americans white americans that were again uh, essentially saying that they were denied entry to certain universities or colleges because of their background colleges and universities arguing that the only way to make diversity within those campuses is to again uh, separate by race Supreme Court has officially ended affirmative action on college admissions. This is a major and monumental moment just coming down today. Moments ago, that opinion was handed down. Again, affirmative action, um, again, killed essentially now by the Supreme Court, the High Court. We're working to learn as we look through this now exactly how uh, the judges ruled on this. Uh, we're learning that uh, one of these reports are holding that Harvard and UNC's admissions program did violate the 14th Amendment. That is the Equal Protection Clause. Uh, but again, we are still working to confirm that. We have a reporter on this now uh, working to gain more knowledge on this. But this just coming down, the rulings also, uh, the opinion. And uh, again, uh, the, the numbers on this and where... Um, where the judges stand on this. I believe it was Chief Justice John Roberts who delivered the opinion um, of this one here. Again, the um, citing the unconstitutionality of this program. Race-based affirmative action programs are unconstitutional. Um, believe it is a 6-3 ruling. It should fall in line with how uh, the, the makeup of the Supreme Court is, but we do want to double check on that before we go on record with it. Um, so again, this had been just one of two major cases that had to do with colleges and how um, essentially you would be admitted into them. For more on this, let's head back to Kilmeny Ducart. She's been following the very latest on this. Kilmeny. It's really interesting, Sean and Emma, that this landed today. We had expected there would be another decision day tomorrow on Friday, and this is typically how the Supreme Court behaves. They save these major blockbuster cases until the last minute, until that last decision day. Um, so, again, breaking down this ruling, an unprecedented end to affirmative action by the Supreme Court, as you mentioned, a majority of justices ruling that it is unconstitutional. Let's recap for our viewers what those cases are. This is Students for Fair Admissions that brought this case against the University of North Carolina and Harvard University. So in other words, they're they're representing the public and the private sector of education. And uh, essentially what Harvard did was they said um, that it violated, that Harvard violated Title VI of the Civil Rights Act, which prevents federal funding from being used to discriminate based on race. They have said in their case that Asian American applicants are less likely to be admitted than white, Hispanic, and black applicants. Uh, going back to this, Judge Kentonji Brown Jackson, she had vowed during her confirmation hearings here on Capitol Hill to recuse herself from that case because she sat as a board member at Harvard University. Now, Students for Fair Admissions, again, looking at the case of North Carolina, they were saying that it violated the 14th Amendment's Equal Protection Clause by using race as a factor in its admissions progress. The group has said that the program isn't needed for campus diversity, but of course, opponents of all of this said that removing affirmative action would make campuses less diverse. So essentially what the justices have said here is colleges cannot use race for admission. It violates the Equal Protection Clause. And again, um, they're, they're essentially saying, as they do in all of these cases, they're ruling that this is unconstitutional. Um, but this was certainly unprecedented in some ways, Sean and Emma. This is what 
analysts predicted the justices may do uh, when it came to this case. Um, but to see it here uh, in black and white ink is, is really, truly historic. Um, and again, two of these cases, both brought by Students for Fair Admissions, victories on both. Yeah, and just looking through here and some of the reports, LA Times and others confirming it for the North Carolina case, it was 6-3, and the one that was recused by Kentaji uh, Jackson Brown was 6-2 uh, in the Harvard case. Uh, but what that points out is obviously the conservative-leaning justices have leaned towards ending, again, race being a qualifying factor to be admitted into colleges. This had to do with UNC and Harvard, as Kilmeny was uh, uh, so nicely pointing out to, to, to be able to understand this again, affirmative action uh, officially here again ending there, uh, finding it unconstitutional and violating the 14th Amendment. Kilmeny, uh, really quickly before we go, we're getting some word that this may be the last uh, opinion that we would get today or ruling from the Supreme Court. Have you heard anything on that? Yeah, Sean, I believe that they have wrapped up their decisions for today. But, uh, of course, Friday will be an additional opinion day, and we continue to watch um, for a couple major cases. One, of course, involves Biden's student loan debt. Uh, you have, in that case, Biden versus Nebraska, where you have six Republican state legislatures that they say the Biden administration's use of the HEROES Act, which is a post-9-11 law allowing uh, the Secretary of Education to respond to a national emergency by waiving or alleviating student loan debt. They're essentially saying here you can't do that. Then there's a separate case we're also watching where you have two individuals that have student loan debt that are arguing that they can't take advantage of the program. In other words, that's not fair. Um, so we could likely expect that uh, to drop tomorrow as well as one other case having to do with whether this web designer based in Colorado um, has to cater to same-sex couples on her website, whether she's violating a state law in Colorado that's saying that you're discriminating based on someone's gender or sexual orientation. So they're not done yet. There's still, there's still a few, but they are done for the day. Right. May, okay, great point. Major ones tomorrow as well. But again, a major uh, blockbuster, uh, again, uh, announcement coming in today, again, ending uh, essentially affirmative action for college admission process. You cannot use race in the admissions process, according to the Supreme Court. That just came in. Kilmeny Ducart reporting from the Capitol on that breaking news. Kilmeny, thank you.